Rohan, you are chasing the story of dinosaurs in Jersey. What do you got? The movie Jurassic World is about to hit us. I couldn't be more excited, but did you guys know that the actual answers to the extinction of dinosaurs be sitting right in our backyard in New Jersey? I spent Friday chasing history, like 65 million years ago history. Right behind a shopping center in New Jersey that a Lowe's sits at is a place called the Inversan Quarry. This former industrial site is now known as Fossil Park. I was invited by world-renowned paleontologist Ken Lacavara in Mantua Township to, to a place right here in New Jersey that could very well be the key to the extinction of the dinosaurs and also 75% of all life on Earth. I met with Ken and his students from Drexel who actually had their classes outside on Fridays. They spend the day digging up, carefully examining the site, and uh, excavating any fossils that they can find. The scenery was unreal. Fossil Park, take a look. It's pretty unbelievable. I walked down, it, I felt like I was just I took a time machine back millions of years. Down in that pit there where you see my students excavating, they're excavating a, a mass death event that okay. happened 65 million years ago. So now there were teams of students digging, excavating, sifting through the sand. I helped do everything that I could without ruining what they were doing. They're using, <laughs> literally using like exacto knives and, and going millimeters at a time. So my like clumsy hands, I didn't want to ruin anything. You know? I mean, these are millions of years old. So there's a bone bed there, it's about six inches thick, that represents the upper boundary of the Cretaceous period, okay? Now this area represents a mass die-off of all the animals that once lived there. This time period is extremely close to when scientists believe that the dinosaurs actually went extinct, whether by an asteroid hitting the Earth or some extinction level event. Now this bed is being studied right now really carefully and it can actually be the answer just to exactly how and why dinosaur life on Earth was ended. We found oyster shells, shark teeth, vertebrae from many animals just while I was there uncovering in the ground. It was crazy, but then Ken brought out some amazing finds. He brought a completely articulated turtle shell uh, that's about 65 million years old, all the vertebrae intact, but then he brought something really cool out here. And then the star that we have here is called a Mosasaur. You might be familiar with what a Komodo dragon is. And so think of a Komodo dragon that's as long as a school bus that has paddles, <laughs> has a 12 foot jaw, and then it has a second set of teeth at the top of the throat to keep you from swimming back out. Now, that's interesting because uh, I was just talking about Jurassic World. If you take yeah. a look at this trailer, the Mosasaurus. Is that the one really that eats the shark? That's the one that eats the shark yeah, out of cool, the tank. Cool it's shot. really, really awesome. So this site is mainly for research right now, but they organize a community dig day once a yeah. year. We get about 1,500 people here a year yeah. on a Saturday. In fact, last year when we opened it up for registration, uh, the 1,500 slots filled up in about two hours. Wow. It's like getting Grateful Dead tickets. I mean, they don't have a firm date for this year, but if you yeah. want to find out what's going on, follow the Mancho Township Fossil Heritage Facebook page. Now, their goal is to create an actual 65-acre uh, park. Call it Fossil Park and have it open every day to people to come in and also have uh, research facilities and stuff on site. So it's pretty awesome. Tell me, uh, just bring me back there to your emotional oh, state. We've all gone to museums and seen fossils and stuff like that under lights, but I was literally 65 million years ago in the ocean, in history, standing like right next to these fossil bones. It was, it was something I'll never experience.